for joining us on ET NASA. Good morning. Let's start off first by talking about the big trends of the import tariff uh, that you are seeing around the world, starting off, of course, with Donald Trump. How do companies like yours, which operate across the globe, deal with such issues? Uh, I think it's a matter which is more uh, between uh, countries and uh, they have their own necessities, uh, things like that. Uh, but I've seen uh, that uh, there is more uh, posturing. There are some uh, basic uh, uh, steps that are taken depending upon how the outcome of the talks happen. Uh, however, I feel that automotive has come a long way and by and large most of the cars are produced in uh, those particular countries itself. And a uh, little bit of uh, models, etc., which uh, have, uh, have to move around uh, across continents uh, is also uh, uh, set off against the imports from those particular countries. So by and large, I think, yes, uh, it's something which has to be uh, uh, brought into a perspective of each of the governments that are talking about it. Uh, but as a supplier, we don't see any uh, effect on the demand. If the cost goes up, it goes across the board. So it's okay. It's all right. We'll take it in the stride. Right. Do you think uh, that this, you know, can materially change the plan of investment for a company or big companies across the globe in various geographies? Uh, in any case, uh, in the short term, you can't do uh, those kind of KPIs because you can't compress time. Uh, but uh, as I said, you know, um, uh, if it is across the board, then I don't think the effect, because the effect is all over. So unless people stop buying cars, which I fail to see why, uh, uh, I don't think it really would affect so much. So can you talk to us about the trend then of EVs? How big is this an opportunity for a company like Madison Sumi? Well, we've not, uh, we've, we've uh, been uh, ready for it for a long time. So as the car makers are asking us, uh, that's the time we start. So EV has been on the cards for the last three, four years. Uh, so every uh, uh, division of Mother Sun is very well prepared for uh, whatever the asks are for the car maker. Because remember, electric vehicle, most important thing is uh, the ability to make the parts lighter and yet stronger. So both this particular thing offers a lot of opportunities to Mother Sun uh, group companies. So uh, we are very well prepared for it. So Mr. Segal, what's the strategy for the U.S. market? Does um, you know, tariff war, um, if it escalates in the U.S., um, does it change targets for your company? Yeah, I think we've been there for uh, almost uh, now 10 years. And uh, uh, we have plants coming up there. In fact, next month we open our biggest plant in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. So uh, we are uh, absolutely in sync with what the car makers are asking us to do. And uh, I think it's very exciting to be in the U.S. We've uh, held ourselves back from 2015. Uh, but uh, this five-year plan is all about USA, USA, and USA. So can you talk uh, to us about the trends in Europe as well as India, which are, of course, your uh, you know, key markets? Uh, because quarter three was a weak quarter as per analysts. What are the trends looking like now? Well, I really fail to understand. I mean, 36% growth on the top line, 21% <laughs> on the beta is, is weak, okay, <laughs> if you say so. But uh, no, we are, uh, we are a company which doesn't get affected by, you know, <coughs> sorry, we don't get affected by these uh, fluctuations in a particular geography or something. Because remember, Mother Sun always grows by content of car. So we do one or two in, uh, uh, acquisitions, we've already grown 30%. So we don't really worry too much. You know, these kind of uh, small uh, aberrations keep happening in every country, different uh, countries, different uh, situations. But overall, uh, we've grown 30, <laughs> 30 I mean, you tell me. <laughs> now, you've done a big acquisition recently. So, Mr. Tan, do you think that the benefits of the acquisitions will be visible in FY19? Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, every company has a roadmap. 
the key uh, way of looking at acquisitions for Mother Sun is uh, we look at the company, we actually clean out the company, whatever has happened in that particular thing, what do we feel comfortable with uh, in the numbers of that company and uh, the products of those companies. And then uh, we start the process of making it uh, very, very rose uh, uh, effective. Our uh, target for uh, uh, PKC as well is 40% rose. And give us a year, two, two years, and you see you'll, where the numbers are. Oh, yes, indeed. We hope to look forward to some strong numbers as well. But, you know, you briefly mentioned about the U.S. plant that's going to start next month. I just wanted to talk to you about when it's going to be fully running on a full basis. Who are your key clients here? So it all depends upon the customer. We have to be ready at least uh, six months to a year before the customer starts production. Uh, uh, we don't give out details to how much we've invested, but it's in... Uh, 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 Maybe a good idea would be that the three last plants that we have set up are very huge, very big, and they will add 1 billion uh, euros to the top line of uh, SMP. So uh, you can uh, take an idea of how big those plants are, the investments are. But uh, what is exciting is you're just behind Daimler's plant. You're taking care of uh, all the particular orders that we have already done. We've already announced them before. And uh, they're now coming into fructification. So it's, it's something uh, which is very exciting, and we're looking forward for these big companies to start paying up now. <laughs> OK. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, Mr. Segal. It was great to get in your perspective. And that was at such a time when there's this havoc of sorts in the auto sector globally with uh, Trump threatening all those tariffs. And of course, thanks for giving us your own trends when it comes to the export market. That's Mother Sumi for you. It's been a bit of a loser, you know, in, in the last couple of months. 310 rupees is where it's currently trading, off from levels of about 375 where we've seen Mother Sumi trade. But uh, it's all about.